Hello and welcome to BI Publisher Basics and Beyond. In this chapter, we will look at how do we install the BI Publisher desktop uh, so development tool. Let's get started. So our objective is to install the BI Publisher desktop, where to find the software, what are the common issues encountered during the installation. So, so I've been doing BI Publisher for the last 15 years. And every year they release this new version. And with the new versions of Word, um, there, there are some issues with installation. Please use the link below to share any issues that you encounter. I've, I've, so far, I've encountered a couple of issues I, which I have documented in this uh, video. Let's, get, let's keep moving. So this chapter is not about installing BI Publisher in the Unix server. It's not about the OBIE version of it. We are going to cover how do we install the development tool for the desktop. So the files used in this chapter are available as a zip file for for download. So you can see all the sample files that I use, the zip file, you know, the files that I Use for installation. I also added the BA Publisher desktop version that I have used as a reference, as a convenience, but I would prefer you go down to the Oracle website and download the right version because my version is compatible with my Word document. So you can see uh, if you look at the, so if, you, if you get the zip file and unzip it, you would see that it has a uh, it has a few files. It has a sample uh, RTF file, a sample XML file, it has a, a website link location, it has the common errors that I've seen. And if you look at, if you expand the BI software, you would see the desktop version I've used in my uh, in my machine. But I would prefer you to go down to the Oracle website and download the right version. So you can go to this link. And you can download the uh, software. So I have, I have provided this link in the uh, in one of the one of the files attached. So once you go to this location, you will have to accept the license agreement. You'll have to click the appropriate desktop version. In my case, it's 32-bit. So in your case, it can be 64-bit. So once you uh, once you click accept. And once you click on the uh, the software to download, you would be pro you would be prompted with a single sign-on. If you don't have an account, um, just click create an account ahead. Um, then you come back and uh, do the same process again. It's very simple. So once you have once you once you click sign on, it's going to download the uh, the software. So once you have the software installed, it's uh, it's similar to installing any other. Uh, any other software you click double click on the exe and follow the prompts so for my convenience i usually have in my computer a directory called uh, c call and my aura sets installs where i keep all my softwares that i use for for, for, for my uh, soft for my oracle development for example uh, be a publisher uh, if i have uh, if i have uh, forms i have i have stored it in that same location because you know, because even though Oracle software is compatible, sometimes uh, once you have a different, uh, you know, it's hard to get the older version of the software that you worked on. So it's better to keep a copy of it so you can share it with your colleagues if you need it later on. So what one issue I've encountered is if I have an older version of the BA Publisher and you're trying to install the latest and greatest of the BA Publisher, you would get another saying that uh, ex oh, no, an existing a version already exists. So if you see that error, you just go to the control panel, click on the programs and uninstall program. Select the select the Oracle BI Publisher desktop. It'll prompt you if again if you have to remove, just click OK. Then come back and uh, double click on your EXE again. So it's going to continue the installation process. And finally, once it's done, you just click um, finish. 
So once it's completed, you basically open in Word. Then, uh, so if if it's if what one of the thing you could look to see if the um, installation was successful is you would see a BA Publisher ribbon if you have the latest version of the Word. So once you click on the ribbon, click on the sample file you can see here, and upload the CHA00 sample.xml. This is provided along with this uh, chapter. You can see I have provided this uh, CHA00 sample. So once you click on that uh, sample file, um, I hope by the, by the time you will uh, unzip your copy your file to your, your directory, unzip your unzip the zip file. You just click on the um, click on open, bring the file, click open. You would see that the data is successfully loaded. So next is we have to create a dummy table. Click on the table wizard. Just continue the prompt, select the table, click next. Select the default data set, click next. So when you come to the screen, you click the, the second button which says select all. You click select all, which would bring all the fields from the which are fields which are available to your report. Click next. Actually, you can click finish um, as soon as you see there. Click finish. Wait for the table to build. This take a couple of seconds. Once the table is built, you go to the PDF. Click on the PDF. At this time, it's going to prompt you to save. So. Make sure your file is saved as an RTF file. So I put uh, the name as sample001.rtf. You can name it anything you want. Make sure your file is RTF. Click Save. And wait for the PDF to show up. So once it's uh, once you've successfully once you once you see the PDF, you know that you've successfully installed the uh, BA Publisher and ready for your other labs. So one of the common errors I've seen um, so far is with the uh, Office 2010. You would see that the macro cannot be found or disabled. Um, so if you see this error, refer to the doc. PA Publisher macro error. You would see the step-by-step -step, um, procedures to how do we uh, fix this error. Uh, the reason why I can't show you it in my machine is um, I've upgraded my office and I have got a uh, latest version 2013 version so far I haven't seen any issues with installation in the 30 or 13 version so if you come across any issues please do let me know I will try to research and uh, put some screenshots um, in the doc in the in the attached documents finally let's look let's look at what we did so we installed the ABA publisher and we we created a sample uh, BA publisher template Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you in another video.